When we say na Anambra uh, vision African Dubai Taiwan, mana if any mother what are all when they talk uh, Dubai Taiwan, but you know uh, overnight skyscrapers lean uh, are there are there abule beni na no ayabu Dubai Taiwan and the Obelo Kukova Marifel development and the foundation of Taiwan access to qualitative education. Taiwan and we're on man of we're on natural resources. The road to Taiwan begins from there. You cannot get to Taiwan with illiterate population. And I went decide the Anambra for Anambra to become the, the Taiwan of tomorrow. We have to lay the foundation today. And as an woman particularly must have access to qualitative education. And uh, there is no qualitative education without qualitative teachers. And if you want to predict the future of any society, look at the quality of teachers and the quality of teaching. And that's why I now batozubo, one is now the first million in Nigeria. Governor now batano bido with you all, you went the magnolo. On our governors, on your napo, on your losia, of our losia eight years, two months to go, or well. Yes, yeah, the wedge built on the Nabatan. Our own educational structure, the very unique. The foundation will carry everybody along. Okay, so um <laughs> as funny as funny as that sound, but that's correct, that's uh, not AI generated. So first the background is that Professor Charles Chukuma Soludo, the current governor of Anambra State, Nigeria, had promised an abearance that he was going to turn um the country to um what 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 he likes to what he refer to as dubai taiwan <laughs> before he 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 leaves office okay so um two years is gone already he was sworn in in november i think 17th or so 2022 um, for his first term in office of course uh, a couple of couple of days time he would um, or weeks time he would be two years in office and then he's giving report card that the reason why the Dubai Taiwan that he promised may never come to pass is because the people he, uh, are quite illiterate and then it will take only an educated educated society a literate society to produce the result that you see in Dubai or Taiwan why that is a known fact? Why well, I tell you, there is nothing about the Nigerian political scene that will not continue to amuse you. It's two years gone, or say almost two years gone, and then you have two more years to go for his um, first term in office. Of course, it's, it's traditional that um, Professor Chukuma Soludo may want to we recontest his office um, to gain in prominence and becoming uh, a two-time governor of Anambra State. But you see, suddenly, and I, I, I keep asking the questions, did he do his research? Was he on ground enough? Did he follow? Did he do his public survey? Did he do his social experiment to have understood the very very? And you see the problem. The problem now is that he is technically because he's smart enough. He's technically derailing whatever he would have sold to them as the goal of his government into a more a more safer environment, which of course education and then guess what there was nothing wrong with professor chukuma soludo had insisted while he was wanting to be governor that he was going to deliver on the promise of quality governance through education he was going to get uh, anabra better in education of course there have been several results if you follow what uh, the rankings of state in the um, wask west african senior school certificate examination um, ratings, you see that Anabra has been doing very well. They either first or second, and then it's been amazing all, all, all from all these years, however. But he chose to hype and uh, have a, a perceived vision of creating a Dubai Taiwan. Now, two years in the office, because there is no foundation, he had been late for that Dubai Taiwan. He has redirected the minds to saying, Now, whatever we are going to see, may not, whatever we are hoping to see, may not come because of xyz this is a very typical situation of the nigerian um, leadership space same with bola metinubu bola metinubu and his um, gang of puppets were all over social media raking that what buhari did for the, for eight years was laying the foundation for whoever takes over would just to fly or soar 
three months into office, I didn't hear that Buhari drained the economy and it was not because these guys do not because when wanting to be now when when you when, normally if you are requesting to be governor or leader of a team, you would have done your own homework, do your research, follow up sincerely, know what the challenges are, know what the prospects, know the prospects that are available, know the advantages as it were, know what the people may also be looking at as their own desire, what they want to see as governors. Now you sow the project to them, now you are telling them halfway, they can, it's just like FIFA are calling for a tournament and the people come prepared. Inside the tournament, maybe after group stages, you now hear that they said, now the tournament ends in the quarterfinal. That is the problem. Because it is a deceptive, manipulative tool, these guys. Are, they have perfected the act. I'm not doing respect. I'm just looking someone I respect. But this video just, just gave me a whole different picture of his personality. Of course, I saw a slice of him or a bit of him or a different him in the 2023 general elections. He, he personally has his own ambition to maybe being the first Igbo president after um, Unamdi Azikiwe, right? And then he's so, he wasn't so comfortable with whatever. And then he went on to even shading. Um, I'm sure if he had had other um, shady businesses uh, that uh, Peter B had done while he was governor, he would have released them because he said the whole lot, some of them quite very unnecessary. And then he might, but, but now look at him. Now you are saying in the middle, they are changing the rules suddenly it is education that now becomes the goal are we now now of course i agree that the general african society needs to better and if if, if there is anything and that's why i would always appreciate governors that pay very close attention that pay very critical interest in develop because the last election in those days shows that we are not very educated as we claim we are not forgetting by the numerous institutions we have. We have several high institutions, universities, there are federal, state universities, polytechnics, public and private. There are college of educations. There are several private universities. Unfortunately, we have one of the most, most ignorant society. And I say that without apology. Thank God I'm, I'm Benin, so I could say very ignorant. Because our priorities, our social preferences, our interests, our values, our principles, for that a, a, a expose that expose us to knowing that what we have is just reputation and then and guess what when you press somebody to the wall when you press or you put pressure on a thing the real thing comes up right so we have been pressured in the last election for Edo state it took us to the cleaners and took us into some, some form and then it was enough to expose the fact that a lot of us are not enlightened because what governance is, what governance should be, who is a leader, what are the qualities, we don't know. And so, and that's how we continue to have. And so, it, it, it's safe to say, it's safe to say at this moment that we deserve the kind of leadership we are getting. Because we as a people are not even qualified enough to be a people of a country that is developing. So when somebody says Nigeria is a third world country, you are seeing comment stations saying, no, what are the qualities of the people of a third world country? We don't even have it. We don't. And that's why we keep getting leadership that cannot, cannot even deliver. Because first, as a people, we have a defeated mindset. We are not even ready for the growth that we seek. We are saying in the middle of the game that the people do not have the education. Why did you not notice this for the first time? And what are you doing to even lay the foundation for the quality of education that you should have? What are you doing? Building schools. Now we are talking about uh, teachers. Since you came in, have, did you improve on the curriculum? Did you start to pay teachers? Have you been a playing teacher? Are there are there laudable? I'm not I'm, I'm not an, I'm not a critic of Charles Ludo. Like I said, he's someone that I respect. Um, I've haven't read and listened to Charles. I can tell you that he's he's a very productive material. Fortunately, governor seems to mess a lot of these guys up. When they become governors, you see them that all they want is just continuous power. So now it's just what's my next political agenda? Really. Disappointed, you know. So we cannot have Dubai time one. So at least maybe you can have the most educated state in Nigeria. And with Mindido educated. 